Hall. Yes, hi. Uh, this is Kristen. This is Kristen Hall. My daughter is McKinley Hall. Uh, we saw a doctor in October. It was our first visit, and then she admitted her, did some testing, and then we were uh, released the next day. And she wanted to do a follow up, and that was back in October, and it's now January, and nobody's ever called me to set up this appointment. So I thought I would call instead <laughs> to set up the appointment. And I was wondering if I could do that today. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh huh. Bye. Oh my god. My level of frustration today is top notch. Called Kenley's neurologist because she said back in October, when we saw her in October 2018 now, that she wanted to see her in a follow up because she still wants to see what's going on with Kenley. It's just not dire, life threatening. Okay, so we are we keep waiting for this follow up appointment. It's January. We still don't have one. So I said, forget you guys. I'm not going to wait on you all to call me then. I'm going to call you. Come to find out, we're on a waiting list. What did she say? Oh my God, something about April. Something about we're probably not going to be seen until April or that she's not going to start making a appointments until April. It was something about April. What was it? But anyway, something about it's not going to be until April. And I'm like, oh my God, do you know how long of a stretch that is from October to April? <sighs> Don't freak out today, Kristen. Don't freak out today. Uh, so that happened. Uh, thankfully, I got Andy's one-year-old checkup. That was scheduled with no hassle. Thank you, Jesus. And I can't seem to call my therapist to schedule an appointment with her because for some reason, they're not answering their phone. So uh, all kinds of frustration today. Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? Today I'm doing this video with no makeup on whatsoever. I did that Wish Haul app makeup try on thing on my other channel. I'm, the title of the video is just not coming to me. But I did that and that foundation broke me out. Like all throughout here, I got one breakout right here. Like it broke me out. So I'm using no product on my face today except moisturizer just to get my, give my pores and my face a little break from makeup. I got so much to update you guys on. God, I got stuff to do. I also have so, so much like housework to do. It's insane. So let's start, I guess. Where am I going to start? Should I start in this room? This room? I should start in this room. No, I'm going to start with the big problem. I'm going to start in here. Okay, so house problem number one. So we just found out that this whole room is actually an add-on. See? Th this right here, this is all an add-on, straight straight back. Even that part of the kitchen, that's an add-on too. This room, we have found out recently, is not insulated. There is no insulation. Look, 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 look. When I stand right here, it's nice and warm. Nice and warm, feels good in here. I go to step in here and oh my God, it's at least, if not more, 10 degrees colder. Like so cold. Because of this, the pipe back here, let's see if I can get to it without like, oh! Okay, I gotta sit on the, this part of the toilet. The pipe backs here, back here have frozen. So for like a good week, we went without water, which means we went without water in there because that's kind of where that pipe <laughs> goes to like that's how our washer gets water so because this was frozen we had that problem and there's a hole I can't reach back there I just I can't but there's a hole right there to the outside that's letting in more hot or hot more cold air so we've taught we told our landlord about it and he's like just spray some foam insulation back there and we're like well, that might work, but what about over here? Are we just supposed to spray all of that? So Dev and I are looking into what we're gonna do about that. In the meantime, we've put up a blanket over this window because we've also found out that this window is letting in a lot of cold air. So Devin's like, we're gonna put a blanket up here, but we're also gonna like, well, this blanket's been up here for a while, but he's like, we're gonna try to like put this up against the cracks as much as we can. That's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> so to not let the cold air in. And it's worked a little bit. Like at least our washer is now running. It just ran for the first time in like a week yesterday. <laughs> no, it's been probably been over a week. So that's, this, that's the problem with this room. We have like 
No, we did have no water. So because we had no water, look at my laundry, you guys. Oh my God, it's insane. Oh, that is not pretty. That, that's not pretty. I have all that to do. I have bags in here that I now need to do because Devin was like, you know what, screw this. We're just going to go to a laundromat and get some uh, laundry done. So I put, I put stuff in bags to go to the laundromat and our laundry room started working like the next day. So now I gotta take everything out of bags to, huh, so much laundry today, so much laundry. Okay, now this room. Let's get started in this room. I have to break down these boxes. Please ignore these boxes, you guys. But we now have problems in this room. This sliding door in particular. This does, is letting in some cold air. So I've tried to tape it up as much as possible, but there's still air coming in from the this part. Like this, you know, I know what I'm trying to say. The slant, the, the, yeah, anyway. There's still cold air coming from there. There's cold air coming in from down here. Like if you put your foot like right there, like yeah, you can feel cold air coming through there. So apparently there's like holes in this house where air is just coming in. Hi, I'm just so angry because when we moved here, before we moved here, our landlord was like, everything's fine with the house, there's no problems with it. These pipes did bust on the second floor, but I fixed it, everything's fine. You know, we got told that and everything is not fine. There's a lot of problems with this house, a lot of stuff we were not told about. And we're now in a big pickle because my our landlord is getting divorced. His divorce is final like the 16th or something like that. Part of the divorce agreement is that they sell the house that he's living in right now. And I'm like, dude, you're getting really, yeah, your your wife must really, ex-wife must really hate you because it's not fair to you for you to just be up and out of a house. It's not really fair to you because she's living in like South Carolina. She's got a place of her own, like she's fine. But you shouldn't have to, that's not fair. You shouldn't be out of a home. But anyway, now that he's out of a home, he has this home. So he thinks that he can move up here, but then at the same time, he's like, oh, I don't want to put you guys out of a house. I don't want to put you guys in a bad situation. And we're like, you you already have, just by <laughs> having to move out of your home, we're already in a bad spot. So we don't know what we're gonna do. And we don't know if he's gonna just up and evict us because he can, technically. Uh, he doesn't wanna renew our lease in March, but that's fine because in West Virginia, when your lease is up, it then just goes on to a month to month lease. So as long as you're paying your rent every single month, you're fine, you can live there. So we're gonna do that. I just don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if he's just gonna be like, you know what, I need a place to stay. You guys need to leave. I'm gonna evict you, go to court and evict you. We don't know. We were hoping to buy a house this year and that would be where we where we would go. Can't talk today. Where we would go. There, Kristen. You've got this. We're kind of uh, stressed and freaking out and don't know what we're going to do and trying to figure out a plan B and trying to look online to see if there's any uh, rentals available and what's a backup plan here. We're trying. Trying to figure it out. Anyway. So there's our drama to do with that. I need to work out today. I have not worked out. Actually, I haven't worked out at all yet. I've been meaning to, just haven't had the chance to. So I'm gonna work out for the first time. Today's Tuesday. I've been meaning to work out since Sunday. I'm gonna do it for the first time today in a long time. I haven't worked out in a long time. But here we go. And before I start this, yes, I do actually talk to myself when I work out. This is not like for the camera. I'm not trying to put on a show. I really do talk to myself <laughs> during my workouts because it's like self-motivation. I'm like, <laughs> to me it like helps me keep going. So don't don't laugh at me. This is legit though. I just realized Carly's gonna be home at like 3.40, so I don't really have time to exercise right now. I'm gonna have to wait till she comes home. What's wrong, Kins? You don't feel good? Yeah. I think it's about time for you to get some more medicine. You feel better already? Yeah. Yeah. All the girls have this like sickness going on. Coughing and mucusy and runny nose. A low grade fever between like 100 and 199, somewhere in there. So I've been giving them this Highlands cold and mucus stuff for kids. I tried to give that to them, like I rotate it. And then I give them some Tylenol for the fever just to help them out. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Look at you, better already. 
Might as well do some laundry while I'm waiting for Carly to come off the bus, which should be in about, I don't know, 10 minutes, something like that. Oh my god. It just makes me so sad to even look at this laundry room. Because Devin decided to throw a bunch of stuff in there, too. Because, oh my god, my parents are coming over. They can't know we live here. So he, like, threw a bunch of stuff in our laundry room that I now have to clean. You need to go pee. Yeah. Go pee pee. Go pee pee. You're doing so good potty training. Go pee pee. Yeah, we have the toilet over there because it's freezing in this room. I don't even want to go in the bathroom in there. I'm not going to ask her to. You put your cup on the back of the toilet. You are so efficient. Yeah. You need help? Yeah. Okay. Did you go pee pee all by yourself? You did? I only had to help you with pulling your pants up. Oh my gosh. So proud of you, Kens. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Really? Because your uh, your teacher told me that you don't feel good. I feel good. You felt good this morning. You acted like you're back to normal and everything. Yeah. And she said, yeah, that's true. But about an hour into school, you did not feel good. You had a temperature of 100. Yeah. Everything started getting bad again. Let's get some medicine. You want some medicine? Yeah. Make it all feel better. Yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, by the way, you want to show everybody your shirt? Yeah. Show everybody your shirt. Pony. It's your pony shirt. Yeah. She loves this shirt, don't you? Love this shirt. My she wants to wear it all the time. And your Barbies. You love your Barbies too. You've all of a sudden grown up on me. I don't know like how to cope with it. Mm. You already had some. Mm. You don't need any more medicine. You just had some medicine. No. Yes, you did. Do you feel all better now? Yeah. You're good. Mm. You're good. Everybody's good. Andy's still sleeping, so maybe I can sneak in a workout now. You, you still want to whine about medicine. Okay, well, I'm going to do a w workout really fast, okay? Oh, what? You want me to do what now? I'm sorry. Excuse me? That was only like a 10 minute workout, but look at me. Like, I haven't worked out in months, so to me it was like, oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna do a vlog about uh, my workout plan, my diet plan, like what I plan to do and all that, but I also am going to talk about uh, my diastasis recti. I just recently had my family doctor confirm that, yep, I have one, and it's not big, big. It's about as big as Jess from Jess Fams. So I wanna talk about exercising with one, what I'm gonna do to prevent it getting worse, so that probably won't be until probably next well yeah probably the end of this month something like that I'm gonna say about then you guys are gonna hear Ellie drinking her water in the background but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go right here I need to make dinner anyway and it's a dinner that's gonna go on the recipe vlog so I can't film it obviously <laughs> plus I have a blog post that I really want to write it's been on my heart for a while since like Thanksgiving yeah Thanksgiving and I want time to do all that so I'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for watching if you want to follow me on social media there's a link down below also down there is the link to my other channel and I'll see you guys later in a new vlog bye guys